It is unacceptable that the prognosis of someone with pancreatic cancer today is the same as someone diagnosed in the late 1980s. Unfortunately, the current standard of treatment of chemotherapy, sometimes combined with radiotherapy, results in less than 8% of patients surviving five years from their diagnosis. This video reviews evidence from three studies that shows adding high-dose vitamin C infusions to standard treatments can improve progression-free survival and overall survival. And here's the most exciting part. These studies included advanced pancreatic cancer patients who previously failed chemo, but after including high-dose vitamin C in their treatment, their tumors shrank, qualifying them for surgical removal of their cancer. Be sure to watch the entire video to see which combinations lead to this result. Hello, I'm Alina Ivanova, the Medical Director of Personalized Medicine. Pancreatic cancer is among the most lethal forms of cancer. The current standard treatment options do not provide optimistic results and can be very toxic to patients. However, research completed in the last 20 years by the National Institute of Health and other research cancer hospitals has shown high-dose vitamin C infusions can improve patients' chance of beating the disease. Today, we will look at several studies that used high-dose vitamin C combined with chemotherapy or a chemoradiation treatment plan. The leading cancer doctors involved in these studies have determined properly dosed vitamin C is a non-toxic complementary treatment that can reduce side effects from chemo and radiation while improving the efficacy of those treatments. The doctors observed that high-dose intravenous vitamin C, also known as IVC, was shown to help restrict disease progression, reduce the size of tumors, enabling some patients to qualify for surgical removal of their tumor, and enjoy substantially longer overall survival. Let's look at the results from three completed clinical trials. You can find links to these studies in the video description. In December, of 2018, the NCI-designated Comprehensive Cancer Center at the University of Iowa published the results of using IVC with chemoradiation therapy to treat patients with advanced pancreatic cancer. Dr. Joseph Collin leads the research team in Iowa. He observed that by using high-dose vitamin C, they tripled, again, tripled progression-free survival. And the latest data shows they also doubled overall patient survival. Additionally, patients had less side effects from the chemoradiation treatment. But the most exciting outcome was the great success stories achieved. Advanced pancreatic cancer patients who previously failed the very toxic fulfirinox re treatment regimen were able to shrink their tumors to qualify for surgical removal after using IVC with chemoradiation. In this article, Dr. Joseph Collin stated, high-dose vitamin C treatment decreases the viability and proliferative capacity of pancreatic cancer via hydrogen peroxide mechanism of action. He further describes, we demonstrate that IVC radiosensitizes pancreatic cancer cells, but inhibits radiation-induced damage to normal cells. Basically, Dr. Collin is saying he observed IVC made chemoradiation more effective while also reducing side effects. Our second example looks at study that includes Dr. Jean Drisco team of researchers from the University of Kansas and Mark Levine from the National Institute of Health. They treated advanced and metastatic pancreatic cancer patients with high-dose vitamin C combined with gemcitabine chemotherapy. Like those at the University of Iowa, they also saw that IVC helped double the typical overall survival and improve the patient's quality of life by reducing side effects. And also another big success, a patient with advanced disease who failed Porphyrinox treatment was able to shrink their tumor to qualify for surgical resection. Dr. Jen Drisco and her team summed up the evidence by stating, IVC was safe in patients and showed the possibility to prolong patient survival. There was no interference with gemcitabine pharmacokinetics by IVC administration. 
Taken together, this data revealed a multi-targeting mechanism of high-dose vitamin C's anti-cancer action. Moving on to our third study, we again see NIH. Mark Levine contributes his vitamin C expertise. He's joined by researchers from Thomas Jefferson University. They treated metastatic pancreatic cancer patients using high-dose vitamin C with chemotherapies gemcitabine and erlotinib. Despite the advanced metastatic cancer conditions, 89% of the patients in the study saw their tumor shrink while getting treated. Completed and ongoing clinical studies continue to show evidence that high-dose vitamin C is capable of improving outcomes for those with advanced and metastatic pancreatic cancers. In summary, the research articles showed high-dose vitamin C is a non-toxic treatment that can safely prevent cancer growth, enhance the effectiveness of chemo and radiation, improve overall survival, and boost quality of life by reducing the side effects from standard treatment. Check out the description to find links to the referenced articles and other resources that could be helpful. We hope you found this information useful. If so, please like the video and choose to share it with others that can benefit. For those in the Maryland, D.C. and Virginia areas interested in pursuing this treatment, we welcome you to schedule a no-cost consultation by selecting the link to the personalized medicine website in the video description. We thank you for watching our video and we wish you the best of health. Stay strong and informed.